after that, later, you'll be asked to bring your final presentation plates. People like that seafood and this is healthy food as well. This is called chicken moja moja. Basically, this is my mom's favorite. South Indian like uh, sweet and nice creamy. Chicken prawn ruposhi. This is our most popular dish. Thai traditional chicken satay with peanut sauce. Now we do uh, main court uh, lamb, paneng as well. It's unique, it's not something on our menu, so we put up on our board as a speciality. This is home cooked food. It's a signature dish. Uh, it's one of the really popular dishes that a lot of the customers like. This is our um, special dish in our menu. It's lamb shank. We are happy to present our special dish. Sibas. Master seed bona. Mainly the recipe is like master paste, cumin powders, coriander powders, and asparagus. I mean, it's nice to see passion, it's nice to see flair, it's nice to see um, a collaboration of the teams working together. It's also nice to see good practices, food safety, which is good, especially being in open modern kitchens, you know, we're adhering to that. Um, the use of culinary skills, the combination cooking methods, flavours. It's a British grown dish. All the chefs nowadays, they made the fusion of all these authentic spices and so The dish is a king prawn gorkhali. It's cooked with a green pepper, red pepper, fried onion, fried king prawn. I think a king prawn, like you said, you use a special sauce. And then he's garnished it. Called chicken pudina. Uh, it's a mild and creamy dish. Murgi masala, the kima, smith and chicken tikka, and capsicum and tomato. People are looking for some healthy options, and then again, it has to be gluten-free. So rather than using, chef has used the semolina rather than breadcrumbs. Alan's recipe, which includes uh, protein, fiber. As protein, we have duck. As fiber, we have baby organic carrot. And for carbs, we have baby potato. What Atta is doing here today, promoting this industry of ours, which at the moment is in troubled times because of skilled labor, staff shortages, but I think that um, we will ride the storm. Fantastic initiative taken by the author, and whoever wins it, they, he will be like, um, will encourage other chefs to join this sort of competition. So I think it's very important for the industry to hold this sort of uh, competitions. Really new dishes, what we find, taste is there, the aromatic is there. Overall their hard work, their, their interest in creating their own signature dish. We are just trying to check the creativity, the taste, the flavour and how they have brought the food dish on the table. A very vibrant, um, some of the innovations, creativity, some of the dishes are quite original. They are pushing the boundaries of modern Indian stroke Bangladeshi cuisine. Great opportunity. Uh, for them to actually encourage the young generation in the future. Today is the final cook-off and from the final cook-off we will be now selecting the finalists for the grand finale on the 30th of September. It's going to be a wonderful day, it's going to be a day of celebration, it's going to be a day to recognize the industry is vibrant. We have uh, Ansley Harriet who is hosting the event, we have got Alka Yagnik who is also coming to entertain, entertain us. So I'm looking forward to seeing everyone on the 30th of September 2018. Yeah.